Got my book and my blanket. I'm gonna get comfy. Tip. Tip. Oh, was that today? Oh, all right, bye. Hi there. Tip here again to bring you another episode of Apps Untapped. As you can see, I'm a bit of a bookworm. There is nothing I like more than getting all cozy with a good novel. I mean, I could read anything. Romance novels, historic nonfiction, apocalyptic zombie fiction, biographies on serial killers. Oops, sorry, that got a little dark. The best place to get books is at the library. Unfortunately, my schedule is really packed and I can't always get to the library during business hours. I'll show you why in the following montage. Five minutes. Are you okay? So since I can't really get to the library as often as I'd like, I decided to bring the library to me. So today, I'm going to introduce you to Hoopla. What a fun thing to say. Hoopla is, you know what, I'm just going to let the professional take it from here. Here's Alvin Ely from the Kingston Public Library to tell you more. Hi, I'm Alvin Ely from the Kingston Public Library, and I'm here to talk to you about Hoopla. Hoopla is a web and mobile library app that allows you access to collections from your local library. The collections include everything from ebooks and e-audiobooks and movies, television, music, comic books. And the best part is that Hoopla is completely free. All you need is your library card. And if you don't have a library card, come in and see us. Just bring a picture ID and a proof of your current address, fill out a little registration form, and you'll be off and running with your new card in minutes. Back to you, Tiff. Thanks, Al. You're the best. So, now that our friendly neighborhood librarian has shown us what Hoopla is, let's see all the fun features. Before you get started, you're going to want to create an account. Like Al said, all you need is a library card. Simply put in your email and your password, add your library card, and then boom, you have an account. Once you're in Hoopla, you'll notice that there's a whole smorgasbord of options. Books, comics, music, movies, that will vary based on what your library card is linked to. I happen to be linked to the Curtis Free Library since I live in Hanover. Don't judge me. You can see that there are tabs at the bottom bar for music, video, and books. You can do a simple search by tapping on the magnifying glass at the bottom. There's even an advanced search if you want to get really deep. And if you want, you can get more specific and use the filter function to search by rating, format, etc. Let's borrow something. I'm about to borrow a comic that I've been dying to read. You see, it's about this group of teenagers that takes on this group of aliens, and apparently it Whoa. ends... Sorry. All right, back to borrowing books. All you need to do is choose the material, tap borrow, then a message will pop up and let you know how long you have the item for. Confirm that you have your heart set on that title, then it will download. Click read or play and go ham! Just FYI, it depends on your library, but usually digital media like music or movies have a shorter borrowing time than books or comics. You may be asking yourself, I wonder how many books I can borrow? Well, that actually is dependent on your library. If you go to Borrowed at the top of the screen, you'll see that there's a space at the top that tells you how many titles you can take for the month. For my library, it's 10. Another question that you might be asking is, why is there a limit if everything is digital? Well, I have one word for you, licensing. Libraries are only allowed a certain number of copies per publisher. But if you need more than 10 books, you should probably get that checked out. Just kidding, but really, you should get that checked out. If you've got a little human and you want to shield their eyes from more ahem, adult content on the app, Hoopla has a kids mode that's for children's up to 12 years old. Just tap kids mode at the right hand top of the screen and then you too will be able to listen to Kids Bop for seven days straight. Yay, sounds fun. If you're browsing and see a few things that you like, but don't want to commit just yet, there's a great tool that allows you to favorite titles. Simply go to the title, tap heart, and you're done. All of your favorites will be added to the list that you can access from the main page. How sweet is that? You may be curious about what you have to do in order to return digital materials to the library. Well, the answer is easy. You do absolutely nothing. The items you borrow will be returned automatically. It's magical, just like you. Now that we've covered the how-to's, let's chat about a few things I learned while using the app. If you need to check how much longer you have your titles for, all you need to do is go to Borrowed, then you'll see how many days you have left. If you tap the book, you'll see that the app gives you the date and time the title will be returned. Pretty dang cool. One of my favorite parts of going to the library is talking with staff about their book recommendations. 
And although it's not as good as chatting with someone in person, the app does a good job with suggestions. Throughout the app, you'll notice little banners that give you recommendations. Here you'll notice that there are staff picks, plots we didn't see coming, and new arrivals. So if you're sick of the same old, same old, you might want to check those categories out. So now you've got the 411 on how to bring your library home. And even though it's not a full-on substitute for the real thing, it's still a great way to read, watch, and listen to all your new and old favorites. And just remember, your neighborhood library is only a hop, skip, and a jump away. And it not only offers books, but it also offers great programs and services that are often free and super accessible. Special shout out to our friends at the Kingston Public Library for helping us out. Thank you for all you do to serve the community. This has been Apps on Tap. It's been great chatting with you. Be well. Hi friends, if you like this video by The Local Scene, share the love and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.